Hi guys, welcome to Friendship Shaving. I'm at the kitchen sink today, I found it was the best place to set the tablet up to record a video and I was asked to do a video showing how I build a lather with a butter in a mantia soap and I've got Don Jose here. So we'll be using that today and uh, you can see perhaps I've taken lots of scoops out of here and lathered them in my bowl. I would say it is exactly the same technique that I use for a badger bristled brush as I do for a synthetic brush. I'm going to use a synthetic today. I would say that the badger tends to hold more of the soap in the loft of the brush itself or the hair of the brush itself. Um, so I've got an old spoon that I use for scooping soap. And I'm going to take about that much. Now if I squash that down and I won't squash it down too much it's going to be more or less, I could flatten it more than that, but more or less a flat teaspoon of soap. And um, I'm just going to take that with my fingers. And I'm going to squash some of that in to my bowl. There we are, just like that. I've got a bit left. I've decided I've got enough. So I've probably used about three quarters of a teaspoon of soap there. And we'll just save that bit for next time around. Now I found that when I uh, first started using this soap, um, I created a lather that was very light and fluffy, almost frothy. And I think that is because the main ingredient in this soap is stearic acid. I find with this soap, for me, I don't need to put very much water in. Um, I'm just going to get a little cup, guys, to uh, put my brush in. I'll use a glass, it's easier. Is that a bit close? Let me put that over here. Just so you can see it and you can judge how much water I'm using. So there we go, we're all ready to go. And what I do with all of my soaps is that I add a little drop of water a little at a time. And I work the soap well as I'm going along. Now... <coughs> If it's a particularly hard soap, I might put just a drop of water on top of here. Just really not very much. Let me show you how much I would normally put on. If it was a hard soap, just get a tap running like that. And literally that much. I don't know if you can see in there. I mean, I've poured a drop out there trying to show you but really next to nothing maybe half a teaspoon if that and what you can do if you've got a hard soap you can put it in your bowl like that and add a drop of water work the water around a bit and let that sit overnight so that if you're shaving in the morning you've got a partially hydrated soap that is going to be softer and it's going to allow you to create a quicker lather in the morning. So there we go, we just do that. Now what I do with all my brushes, just the same as I said, 
whether it's a badger or a synthetic. Whether it's been soaking or not. And make sure that the brush is not dripping. I give it a squeeze and two shakes. And I do that just to make sure that all the water is out of the brush, but the brush itself is still slightly damp. And I'm going to take that to this drop of water that's been sitting on my soap, and I'm going to just start to work it. And really all I'm doing at this stage is working the soap around the bowl. I'm trying to get some of the soap from those clumps that I put in. I'm trying to spread that out a little bit. I'm not using any pressure. I'm just generally trying to work the soap and get it spread out a little bit on the bowl. I'm not splaying the brush. I'm just using the very tips I suppose if you used one particular soap and you were used to it, you might be able to work out how much water that soap took, but you'd have to be certain that the amount of soap you used each time was exactly the same. And as I use a variety of soaps on the channel, some have different ingredients, some take more water than others and as I've said the amount of soap that you pick up can vary so I just add a, literally a few drops of water at a time now I can either go like that with my fingers and I'm going to do that just twice there I mean I've got hardly any water on there but I'm just going to work that a little bit, exactly the same as before. And for me, as I'm in no hurry, this is a method that works quite well. The other way I could do it is I can take my brush and I can just dip the very tip of that brush into my water and add that and that is in fact what I usually do and at the beginning I can do that quite quickly and in the video you'll be able to count and see how many times I do that so now I'm starting to get a little bit of water in and you can see I'm starting to get a little bit of volume to the lather not very much I tend to use enough soap for a three pass shave and a bit extra. I have come to the point where I don't see the point of having a bowl full of soap that I'm not going to use. Now maybe you can see I was not concentrating there, so I did a bit bigger dip than normal, but it's okay, it's just straight in and out. And I think one of the most important things is to work the soap, which you can see I've been doing. So we're starting to get a little bit of volume. Now I'm going to add a drop of water again. And you can perhaps see from the water, I'm not losing any soap into the water. Or if I am, it's absolutely minimal. So now, I'm going to start creating a little bit of friction and getting a little bit of air into this soap. And once I've done the air, I'll work it a bit more. Add a drop more water and work it around. And 
and you can see I'm starting to get a lot more volume now and maybe you can see there's a little bit of sheen on that which is nice on the bottom of the bowl itself well there's not a lot going on a few little air bubbles there on the bottom I don't know if you can see that not many at all but I certainly want to work those I tend these days I'm just wiping the edge there of my brush to make sure that all that good stuff stays in the bowl but as you've seen I don't lose a lot to the water now each time I add a drop of water there we are that's about it each time I add a drop of water I need to work the soap and each time I agitate the soap to add air I work the soap as well that's I guys I don't know if this is the right way or the wrong way it's just the way I've worked out to do it and it works for me now I'm doing this quite gently now I've agitated it I've got enough water in I really just want to work it and you can see generally I didn't use too much water there and what I prefer to do really is have my soap perhaps a little thicker than I used to there we are I've got absolutely loads of soap here have my soap a little bit thicker than I used to unless I'm trying to uh, unless I'm shaving with a straight razor and I particularly want my soap to be more hydrated and pretty much that's what I go for few little air bubbles there so perhaps I could work the soap a little bit more and in fact I'll do that I'll just rinse that off and I'll work it a bit more just to see if I can make it a little bit better if I ever take a soap to my face and it is obviously too thin then I wipe my brush off and I'll take my brush back to the puck or add a little bit of soap to one corner of the bowl and if I ever take a lather to my face and it's a bit thick I'll just dip my brush in the water and smooth it out on my face but guys I think this is a pretty good lather and the thing about doing this is, for me, it's going to be slightly different every time I do it. Um, I find it's impossible. And I did try. I did go through a period of trying to measure the soap and measure the water. But each soap is different. And in the end, it's just easier. There we are, I've got a ton of soap there. That's my lather. I've got loads in the bowl. And I'll probably find, once I rinse that out, there'll be just a little bit of soap left in the bottom there. Now the other way to build a lather is to take a brush, and I've got a dry brush, so I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to talk about it. But 
soak your brush, do whatever you need to do to hydrate the bristles. Badge your brush and do it exactly the same. Squeeze two shakes. You could take it to your puck and load the brush, maybe a 30 second load. And then once that brush is loaded, I take that to my face or I can take it to a clean bowl and I can build a lather in the bowl with the brush. However you do it is up to you, but if you're going to load your brush from the puck, you're probably going to get a little less soap in the bowl, so it's likely to be more economical. But you must leave your soap upside down to dry, and if you're going to sort of put your soap away and not use it again for months, I wouldn't recommend doing that. But, well, do what you want, guys, but I don't. Um, I have got a soap in a clear container and you can see that there's a little band all the way around where you can see a drop of water's got in and the brush bristles have got in and all the colour's gone out of the soap there so it does have an effect on the soap in the tub but there we are guys that's my lather that is quite acceptable to me I hope that is of some use. You may not do it that way, guys. There are lots of ways to build a lather, but that is my way of doing it. So thank you for joining me. You take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.